Welcome to Labs, the scariest map in Tarkov, by far. Streets is up there, but Labs is definitely one of them. The PvP is insane on this map, you gotta worry about people with the best ammo, the best gear. So sometimes it can be very hard to loot, but in this video I'm gonna show you the best row, the best loot room. So first things first, over here is Cats. If we come over here... This is one of the best loot spots on the map. Right here on the ground, you can get Ledex. I've gotten GPUs. Of course, right now for the video, there's only Wilston cigarettes, but I have gotten Ledexes so many times here. It's a good spot. As well as on this table, you can get different things like I've gotten lions, I've gotten rollers, I've gotten skull rings, and things like that. Coming over here, this is one of the computer rooms here. We have multiple computers. We have one here one there as well as if we come over here we have another one right here and now over here on this table very good items can spawn right here very good I've gotten things like Lettuces here I've gotten the noise guys um, streamer item multiple other streamer items as well coming over here we also have another spawn right here for like VPXs um, things like that uh, other streamer items and then sometimes on this couch here will spawn a suitcase that you can actually loot on this bookshelf you can get different things like skull rings and other rare barter loot items on this one as well you can do the same and then over here we have another computer same thing happens on here we have a cabinet and that's it for this room over here is the button room for the garage now to open this garage over here you will need to press this button here, but sometimes you cannot activate it. So it's kind of like a 50-50 most of the time. Um, but if you do activate it, you have to be careful because raiders will be coming out of this garage. Um, or they'll come from over here, over here, or up top even. So you got to be careful for that. Now, another loot spawn. Spawns right here on this table. Uh, pretty good loot, actually. As well as over here. Now, if you're looking for your... Um, I think it's a converter. Get the whole name for it. I'll put it up on the screen. But if you're looking for this item for your hideout, it spawns right here a lot of the time for me. And there's a, there's another few other spawns too around the map. So if you're looking for that, it definitely spawns right here. Now we're going to come back this way. Alright, in this room here, we have Violet Room which is this door right here. I'll put the price up for the Violet key card. And then we also have a red key card room as well. And I will put up the price for that. I know it's a hefty amount of money. Turning around, we have two green weapon crates here. Um, over here on this shelf can spawn stims on either or of these racks. Coming over here, we have not one, not two, but three computers on this side. We got one over here. And then you want to make sure you come over here every time you enter this room because there's a chance of a green key card spawning right here as well as intel on this one so you really want to watch for that coming over here the yellow key card can spawn on these tables here as well as provisions can spawn on all these other tables in this room it's a very dark room so if you have a flashlight it's a lot better to see uh, we have a jacket we have a safe we'll and a cabinet here now there is actually a loot spawn in this garage if you come over here to this red car Right here can spawn very good loot. I've gotten Ledexes, I've gotten GPUs, Bitcoins, and other loot like that. This is yellow keycard room in here. You can get Ledexes and other loot like that. There's also a computer and randomized uh, weapon parts. Right here can spawn Tetrises and other tech loot. And then if you come over here, we have a little auditorium type of deal here. And then up here, if you're looking for a uh, VPX for your quest, one can spawn right here. Up here, weapon parts can spawn on these, as well as over here on these ones. 
as well as these ones. And then coming in here, this is the second button room for this garage. And uh, this is called containers. At least that's what I call it. Uh, as you see, the button is being able to press, so we'll press it. The girl on the uh, announcement system, she announced it to everybody on the map. So you want to be careful for that because when you press a button, you're pretty much, your spot gets uh, put on the map. So, And then over here, there's also another rare spawn. As you see, a paracord's there. We have cabinets and one computer. All right, coming over here into server room. If we take a left and come in here, this is another computer room. We have one weapon box. And we have three computers. Right here, athletics can spawn on this table. There's a jacket, as well as other different weapon part spawns right here. Now, this is server room. If you're getting pushed by somebody, because this is a pretty contested spot, a lot of people will sit actually in these little glass things here. You can just open these doors. Some people will just sit here and wait for somebody to start running. And they'll peek it, and then they'll just start shooting. So you want to be careful for that. If you're in a situation where you need a quick escape, you can come over here and you can run down this and jump down. So the best way to do it is you want to run from here, run along this thing, and then kind of bounce off of this ladder and you won't break your legs. Um, I'm not good at it. I know Glorious E is really good at it. Uh, so you can try it. Um, if you have painkillers popped, uh, you can definitely just run down there and jump down there and you should be able to keep running. This is the best room in labs. By far, 100% better than red. I will show you guys right now. I actually have this one. This is the black room. So you will need the black key card to access this room. I will put the price for it up on the screen. You also unlock it from colleagues part three. That's how I got mine. I will throw up the quest as well. And coming in here, like I said, this is one of the best rooms on labs. Sometimes it could be bad for stims, but most of the time it's completely filled. But for this test run, it's obviously not gonna give me a bunch. So stims can spawn here, right there, on this, on the floor, on this one, on the floor right there, on the shelf. So this is an offline raid, so I don't think it's, it's accurately showing them. Yeah, it's actually showing none. So it's not a good example for the video. I will put up another video showing you guys on how many stims can spawn here. Because of course for the video it only spawned one. But you can get up to like 15 stims in one loot run coming to this room here. Over here, this is blue keycard room. I will put up a price for the blue keycard. Um, it's not worth, I wouldn't buy it. I think the keycard's like seven mil and uh, you will never make your money back in this room. It will take so long for you to make it back. So it's almost not worth. It's probably the worst one out of all the keycards. Um, right here on the desk, a green keycard can spawn in this empty spot there. Stims can spawn right here on the table as well as on the shelf, as well as on this little seat here coming over here we have a rare loot spawn uh, as you see the axle pair is here and now if you shoot at this glass and come in here this is one of the dark offices the other dark office is directly across from us there's a lot of computers in this room there's one two three there's also a safe right here Coming over here, we have another computer room. I think there's actually more computers in this room than the other one. We have another safe right here. All right, now it's time for the main part of the loot run. This is mid. This is usually another really contested spot. A lot of people will hold like angles from like different shelf areas. So like over there, you can hold an angle in that corner, uh, that corner. You have to be really careful. If you want, you can be crazy and you can run here right away and try to loot what you can. Or you can try to clear the map first and then come. So if you come down here, 
yellow key card can spawn on this desk. A motor usually spawns right here, or like um, things like hoses and shit. Uh, over here, there's a loot spawn here, as well as a black key card spawn right here. Now, I actually found the black card last wipe right on this table. I'll throw up the clip. Um, I got super lucky, but it was fucking sick to actually find it. It was my first time ever finding a black key card. Over here, there's a stim spawn. And there's actually another black key card spawn right here on this table. There's a computer. And then over here, <clears throat> I've actually... I've actually not seen a Letix here uh, in like four wipes. But supposedly, Letixes can still spawn here on these little barrels. On any of these back barrels here, you can probably find one. So it's very rare. You can come here and check if you want. Coming over here... Now, if you see one of these doors open, you know that there's somebody on the map with you. So really watch out for that, because they spawn close. Now, there's a loot spawn right here. And then also all alongside this table, you can get a Letix right here. And uh, yeah, there's this is a pretty good room. You can get stims, Letixes, uh, other really good loot. Coming over here, we have four more computers. As well as a rare loot spawn right here. It's kind of tricky to grab sometimes. As well as another rare spawn right here. You can get Lettuces and GPUs. And then, like I said, four computers. Coming over here. I will throw up the price for the key to this room. It's a really good room. I've also gotten a Lettix here before. There's a lot of spots to get Lettix on this map. Uh, this is a gun rack. You can get like fully built M4s here. Uh, as well as some really good weapon parts. Um, we have three weapon boxes. Right here, a rare loot spawn. So with, like pro kills, Lettuces, other things like that. And there's also one right here, as you see. VPXs can spawn right here, as well as other tools, like tool sets, uh, pliers, and things like that. And now over here is the manager's office. Right here can spawn a black key card. And then in here, a yellow card can spawn on this table. And then you will need a key to come into this room. I'll throw up the price to it. Um, it used to be really good. It's not as good as it used to be. Uh, you used to get like guaranteed bitcoins and lines almost every raid on this desk as well as on the floor. But there is a computer. There's a cabinet, and there's two weapon boxes now. And then there's also a computer and another safe. Then after you do this loot run, you could choose to stay in and just fight raiders, and you can get way more loot too. You could like get a bunch of like different LBT rigs in the two bottom corners of your backpack, and you can fill those up. You can come out of here with like really good loot. I'll actually throw up a couple pictures of loot runs that I've had on labs from doing this loot run. And labs, you can make so much money in loot, especially if you loot all the computers in these dark offices. Um, I know Glorious E, he had a clip where he got like four GPUs in one raid and he couldn't pick up the fourth one because you can only carry three. So labs is scary, but at the end of the day, if you end up surviving, you'll end up just falling in love with this map so much. It's such a good map. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more loot runs and other tutorials on different maps, let me know. I'll keep making them. I have two Shoreline ones. Uh, I posted one yesterday for Town and Cottages because it was the number one requested thing on my other video of me showing the resort. So if you want to see more videos, guys, please like. It helps tremendously. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.